In this video, I explain the interpolation schemes that we use for the animation. So we implemented a linear and 1D Bessier interpolation. For, in order to illustrate this, this concept, I, drew, I, I made two uh, flow fields that are, that are similar. Uh, they simply have all the vectors pointing upwards. I made a particle source on the bottom of the screen that will move from left to right. So when I start the animation, I can, we can imagine the particle source as an object that emits smoke. And we can see how the trail of smoke will look like as the object moves from left to right. So first we'll try with the linear interpolation with linear interpolation, which is the, the default setting. I can change the interpolation kinds um, by pressing letter B. So I will start I will start the animation. We can see that this animation is not very realistic. It's rather monotonous and doesn't follow the uh, natural movement of, of, a, of a moving object with its uh, corresponding acceleration, the acceleration. So we're going to use 1D BC interpolation and we're going to use a curve that implements ease, ease in and out in order to to go to the C interpolation, I press letter B, and then I press number one to, s to select E scene and out. And I start the animation with the space bar again. And also, uh, an alternative uh, interpolation we have is that with the C interpolation selected, we can press number two, and we use a curve that will will implement anticipation and follow through, and we can see how the flow behaves when that happens.